Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In the gun community, people suggest alternatives to products that are specifically made for guns for cleaning and preserving, lubricating and preserving. And a lot of people go back and forth, and I want to try or attempt to either prove or disprove a lot of myths about all the products you see here. And I will be dragging out the plate of truth. So the first myth I would like to talk about, or truth, <laughs> truth or myth might be a good day for this video, is Simple Green. Um, great product to clean and degrease gun parts. However, a lot of people say, oh, well that'll, you know, if you leave it on the metal too long, it'll ruin it. So we'll go ahead and test some Simple Green on the plate of truth. Next thing, a lot of people recommend using lithium grease instead of a specific gun grease on your guns. Now, I'm putting it on here just for the fun of it, however, I am not going to recommend doing this. And I know even an AK-47 manufacturer that uses this on parts of the bolt, um, or the bolt carrier. And the reason why I don't is because, um, for those of you who might like use lithium grease for your garage door opener or anything, take a look at what your rails look like in about a year or two. It sort of gets hard and crusty. Also, I'm not quite positive if the flash point as far as heat is high enough to really be using lithium grease in some guns so I, I'm sort of on the fence with it therefore I, I wouldn't recommend it but I want to see what it looks like on the plate of truth after a little while then we'll go ahead and put ballastol on here see how well that stands up com as a comparison to these other products so I, I do want to have some control items to do some comparisons on here Next is Mobile One. A lot of folks say this is a great slippery product. It can handle heat. It's uh, one of the best synthetic lube oil or synthetic oils out there for your car. One of the best. I know there, it's a, always a debate. But um, some people use this on their guns. However, after like a couple of hours of research on the internet, I know, take it for what it is. Um, I did find out that this really doesn't preserve. I, I don't see anything in here that says it's going to preserve like a gun oil that says it preserves. So I want to put this on the plate of truth and see how well it compares to, let's say, Ballastol or CLP. CLP is another product that a lot of people use. I'm using just the, the really popular ones to do comparisons with that most people out there would probably use on their firearms. So I'm also going to put CLP on one of these squares on my plate of truth as, again, a comparison. Uh, another one for fun is 3-in-1. A lot of people say, oh, don't you do 10W40 so, and um, because it displaces water and all this other stuff. And I had put it on a prior plate of truth, so um, for the fun of it, I'm going to try 3-in-1 oil, and I'm trying this specifically because it says it does prevent rust. So it's sort of something in here preserves. So for the fun of it, we'll see how that compares. Um, another product I'm going to try as a comparison is Militech. And in between there, I am going to put silicone spray. Now this is the one thing that right now I want to recommend but I want to double check. The reason why I have silicone spray here, it's not really to lubricate your gun, but you know those sili silicone rags that you use to wipe your gun just to coat it and preserve it? Well those things dry out. You know these either rod and reel type of silicone cloths. This one's made by Birchwood Casey and hey look here's another one <laughs> made by Birchwood Casey. Same thing. Um, these things cost about five bucks, and, but they do dry out eventually, and then you got to spend another five bucks. Well, you can go to your hardware store and buy a big hunking can of silicone for like five, six bucks, and just resaturate your cloth and keep on using it instead of uh, buying a new cloth, unless the cloth starts getting really dirty. So, I just want to test this out on the plate of truth, right there between the 3-in-1 and the Militech on one of these boxes.
just to make sure it's safe. So what I'll be doing is um, I got my Q-tips here. I'm going to go ahead and take, starting with the simple green on box number two, go ahead and saturate a square, then put um, products in each square and I'll let you know what each one is and maybe I'll go ahead and film it and then sort of fast forward to it all so you watch me do it. Just so you uh, know what I put on what, on box number two was simple green, number three was lithium uh, grease, number four is ballastol, number five is mobile one, number six is CLP, number seven is three in one oil, number eight is the silicone spray, and number nine is Militech. So we will uh, go ahead and just put this outside to probably for a week or two and just take a look at it and then make some truth or false claims. So I put the plate of truth out here outside on this table and we'll go ahead and maybe give it a week and then take a peek and if not much has changed I'll, I'll wait another week and wait till we see if there's any interaction or non-interaction with this plate of steel with these products.